Hi. It's time to talk about patents. No, not Mike Patton. You want it all, but you can't have it. Although I do like Faith No More, we're obviously talking about video game patents. This is a video game channel. The secondary channel has somehow turned into a car vlog channel because I made a mistake. And now I have to restore a car that I paid way too much money for. Please go watch those videos so I make some money back so I can buy parts for this thing. But we're video games here. If you don't like car stuff, that's fine. Stay here on this video and make sure you're subscribed to the channel. A good majority of you aren't subscribed yet you're creeping my videos all the time. Hit the subscription button, it's free. But when it comes to video game patents, I like to look at these things because it gives us an inside glimpse as to what a company is doing in the potential future. Some of these patents come to light, some of these patents don't. But when it's something a bit more concrete, something that we actually know about already, to see a patent come along for it gives it a lot more confirmation. We're going to be talking about a Nintendo Switch patent that was just received and published on November 30th of this year, so a couple days ago, and it pretty much is saying a lot of things about a new Nintendo Switch. But it might not be what people are thinking. So we're going to dive into that. I want to give a huge credit to Mike Odyssey for discovering this patent. His website is like the only place that actually had this up. And him and a few other YouTubers are talking about it. I'll have a link to Mike's website in the comment section down below. Super nice guy. He's always very kind to me. So go show him some love. But let's talk about this patent here. Because there's a lot of stuff to go over with it. We're not going to break it down too far. I'm just going to give you guys my initial thoughts on what I think this is going to be because I think there is a new Nintendo Switch coming in 2023. Well, let's put a little asterisk next to it. So here's the patent itself. This is all the information. It is a European patent office patent. This is the date it was published, like I said, on November 30th of 2022. Basically, just talking about stuff. Oh, look, an electric a device and device holding system <gasps> that's a nintendo switch what what is that here what is all this stuff all these different things when you scroll through this patent it's clear that this is a nintendo switch system of some kind nintendo has done patents previously before any initial and new iteration versions of a switch have came out whether we're talking about a switch Lite, a switch oled they always do something with the patent to sort of revise the patent to cover everything that the system will be you can look at all the patent pictures here you can look at the perceived sleek dock it's actually a bit of a smaller dock that is supposed to be it but that's weird because i guess that's just the top portion of it and then oh no this is the charging okay this is where you where you charge it it's almost like a mini dock or something and then it goes into the actual dock itself your your typical buttons on here like it, it's a switch it, it's a switch you know kickstand all that sort of stuff but obviously if they're filing for this patent there must be some sort of change with this switch whether it's a full-on change or an incremental change that's where a lot of the confusion lies this whole thing is patented there's your pretty little dock all this sort of stuff it's honestly kind of boring and i wouldn't say that there's any necessarily new information in here the fact of the matter is they did a patent for the nintendo switch an updated patent which more than likely means that some sort of nintendo switch iteration that we currently don't have on the market is coming in 2023 the easy way to think about this and i think the perceived way that most people are are hoping at least i'm hoping it is that this is some sort of revised hardware model it doesn't need to be a full-on successor if it is a full-on successor that's great i don't care the, the hardware is showing its issues man I, i've talked about this time and time again people think i'm over dramatizing it take away the sales stuff take away the sales figures look at it from a consumer perspective from a consumer's perspective wouldn't you rather have better frame rates and better resolution for your nintendo switch games i mean of course everyone would want that so strip away the whole sales mentality obviously the sales do play a role the the amount of sales for hardware and software but that's for nintendo to decide as a consumer you should always want the best you should always want as good as it can possibly get and when you start to get those limitations hitting the hardware itself then you should want some sort of revision for the system i think a nintendo switch you know pro a new nintendo switch a nintendo switch plus or something like that i think that would be a really smart move for nintendo because of course you're keeping your core audience you're keeping all the nintendo switch owners with any software you're 
release for both of these systems but this system just has a little bit more power it plays the same games it just plays them better it'll allow for developers to have multiple graphical settings for their games many of these engines that we have nowadays are easily scalable and they could easily take advantage of the switch look at something like a game that comes out for xbox it comes out for everything right now okay but it's scalable from the xbox vcr to the xbox series x to wildly different systems so i think it would be a huge positive thing and if you do care about the sales of the system this would help it people would be double dipping people might actually be interested in checking out a nintendo switch previous owners who might have sold their system might get back into it because it's stronger hardware and it's going to play the games better i think that's what everyone wants it to be and i think that's what everyone's hoping it, it's going to be and that's what i'm hoping it's going to be but hoping about something and being honest about something two different things when you look at the reality of the situation when you actually sit down and think about it for a little while to me it's clear as day what this is it's clear as day what this is going to be a legend of zelda tears of the kingdom themed nintendo switch like i said every time there's any sort of change done to a nintendo switch system it gets an updated patent and that includes system variants because the system variants themselves are a little bit different there might be a different color scheme there might be a graphical design on the system itself there might be something with the joy cons little incremental things that we obviously you know we don't think of that as a sort of refresh or a different system it's just a variant of the system but in the world of business when you have to make a uh, a new system or a new system variant you do have to get a patent for this obviously tears of the kingdom is going to be a huge game for nintendo so i feel like they're gonna want to do a special edition legend of zelda item look at all the handheld zelda systems that we got over time the 2ds the, the nintendo ds there, there was there's so many variants of these systems triforces on them we the green remember the bright green 2ds i wish i would have bought that that shit was like 99.99 for so many black fridays and now it's super expensive i wish i would have bought one of those i would have loved to have it in my collection i'm not paying high prices for those things I'm buying car parts now but honestly i really feel like this is a lot to do about nothing like technically yes it is a new nintendo switch and technically yes i do think it's going to launch alongside the legend of zelda but like i said in yesterday's video the devil is in the details when you actually read a title and you read a description of a video and you look at the thumbnail because technically this is a new switch coming out alongside the legend of zelda in 2023 more than likely but it's not that upgraded system that a lot of people are hoping for and that i really feel like we just need it man as a multi-platform owner i find myself playing less and less switch games unless i get a review copy or unless you know I, i'm doing something sponsored to it i still enjoy the games when i play them and they're still my honest thoughts about them but i just find a better variety of games on stuff like my xbox series x or my playstation 5 as far as you know looking and playing like a game should play in 2022 there's still great stuff i'm sure uh, tears of the kingdom is going to be a great game like i'm sure it's going to be fun but it's always going to be in the back of your mind what if this game ran at 60 frames per second and, you know 4k how would that look how would it look if they had the additional power to do you know different effects and stuff like that you know it's, it's all down to the person though and at the end of the day kids don't care about stuff like that look at look at the kids with pokemon they all love the game it runs at five frames per second this is the greatest game ever it's pikachu pikachu you know we just have to look at it from a different perspective let me know in the comment section down below though what you think of all of this because obviously something is coming it's probably coming in 2023 more than likely it's launching alongside of the legend of zelda tears of the kingdom but it's not what you wanted in terms of more power or do you think i'm completely wrong about this and this will be a more powerful nintendo switch and our answers or our prayers will finally be answered <laughs> listen to unanswered by suicide silence if you like deathcore music i think that's where our prayers will be going with this and as always guys thank you for checking out this video like i said at the start if you're unsubscribed subscribe let's get those subscriber numbers up it's weird like i have a lot of subscribers and all my videos get really good views but it's like i never get new people like what is it you don't like me you don't like my face hurts and go check out the secondary channel where i have emotional breakdowns over spending way too much money on a rare car that needs a lot of work but it's gonna be fun because we're gonna restore it together and as always i'll catch you guys on the next video later